the streets of South Sudan capital Juba appear calm. Business is going on as usual, but uncertainty hangs over the country surrounding the formation of a new cabinet. The reshuffle of government has been expected for a long time. First, because the citizens themselves wanted uh, a reshuffle. Uh, this demand has, has been caused by a number of things, including the perception that uh, the government was not performing well, and two, that the government was too big, and therefore uh, 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 spending a lot of, of, of money. South Sudan's president, Salva Kiyomayor, did this week dissolve the entire cabinet, which included his deputy, Riyak Mashal Teni. This sparked panic among many that the country could deteriorate into chaos. Sides of the government that we have, we were having 29 ministries, and if you look at our current situation in our, uh, in our country, 29 ministries with the, the oil, our oil is having crisis, and that is the only source of income that we got. If we have, for example, 18 ministries, and uh, there's a reduction of about 11 ministries, that money will be used for development. I think that will be good also for the citizens. South Sudan Secretary General Abdon Agar Jokneal admits that power struggle exists within the Sudan People's Liberation Movement party ranks, but denies this is the reason behind the reshuffle. At the moment, he's making consultations with various stakeholders including uh, members of other political parties, including the leadership of his own party, the, the SPLM, including uh, uh, representatives in parliament, representing various states and various uh, counties. The government is yet to give the exact date when a new cabinet will be formed, despite assuring the public that they are in control of the situation. It's now three days since the government of South Sudan dissolved its cabinet. This decision caused a lot of anxiety here in the capital Juba and on the international scene. The government is now using simple methods like the SMS platform to reach out to the public, asking them to remain calm. Former South African President Thabo Mbeki is later today expected to arrive in the country. People are hoping this will help clear the current political impasse. Hilary Isiga, CCTV.